Hello ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to episode 6 of Origami 2. It is I fate, and we are back. You guys might be asking, where exactly am I right now? Well, let me tell you. Uh, in between episodes, I did a little bit of exploring just around the hub area, just running around out of my curiosity, peeking. And uh, we found this uh, nice little zen garden area back here, and I found this little like parkour thing you could kind of climb up high over here. Uh, but it seems as if this might be like a little zen, like I said, like a zen garden slash perhaps like a graveyard or like, I, I don't know what it's called in Japan, like an honorary like garden or something like that. But um, there's some interesting, uh, there's some interesting stuff up here. So we have, there's different headstones and they have a whole bunch of different names on them. So I don't know if these are maybe just dev names or if they are the names of, you know, late developers, or people who passed away or something that were close to any of the devs that they wanted to throw into the game or something like that. But I thought it was a, thought it was a, a neat little thing that I kind of found. And uh, it's kind of cool. I love when, uh, I love when games have things like this where they put like uh, the names of people into their games, whether they're honoring them, you know in memory or if it's just you know little dev easter eggs i thought it was neat and it's a it's a really cool touch you know it adds a lot of sense of humility uh and humanity being restored to the game you know so I, I liked this a lot and i thought i'd show this off to you guys so yeah there's a few different layers around here and there's just there's just a handful of different names on these things so and uh if you're curious where this is we're just behind the big uh like the big zen house where you um first meet uh leader katashi or where he typically hangs out so that's uh, that's where this is located back here and as you can see there's just a bunch down here on the the ground level as well but uh honestly i couldn't believe i didn't find this earlier on i was just kind of like running around the edges and stuff and i it's funny because I didn't even find this pathway first. What I what I noticed first is I think I was up on this roof and I like saw stuff back there and I was like, wait, it looks like you can go over there. And I was like, there's water right here. And I was like, let me use process of elimination and simply check the other side. And lo and behold, you could just go right around. So uh, pretty neat, pretty neat indeed. But uh, in the last episode, we wrapped up, I believe the th third or fourth map. Honestly, don't even, I think it was the fourth mission. Um, that we wrapped up. <clears throat> Actually, no, it was definitely the third mission. So, uh, we got intel from the Cronus. He's basically like a messenger for us. He, uh, he does not really snooping around, but he does research and he finds allies for us, essentially, so that we can have more forces take on, to take on the Akachi. So, uh, we found this militia and, uh, we're going to go assist the militia and in return they will help us try and take down the evil forces of this universe. So without further ado, let's go ahead and hop into the mission and get things going. And if you guys are being driven insane because there's an exclamation point over there, yes, I do have an ability point, but for the next thing I'm gonna get, we need two. So don't lose your minds. I know I'm losing my mind as well staring at it, but uh, soon enough we'll be freed from the burden of that glowing over there. Actually, that was mission number four. I'm stupid. All right, very well. Anyways, carrying on with mission number five. Help the militia. A militia comprised of peasants from the valley seeking to fight Akachi's advances need our help. Let's do it. Question mark objective, by the way. Interesting. All right, you know what? We're going to sh show the portal some love. I miss using this thing. All right, ooh, a target focused elimination, huh? I like to see that. And it looks like we're actually gonna be taking advantage of some of the, Never mind. okay. I was thinking that this would be our progression over here was going this way. And I was like, it looks like we're gonna take advantage of some of the hardcore parkour to a move around a bit here. I totally didn't just realize in the last episode or anything that you can uh, do an air dash like that. Totally, totally didn't or anything like that, but uh, yeah, you could do that to get around a little bit more efficiently and hey Found a collectible right off the bat. You don't see that every day considering we've only found like one collectible in this game's entirety so far There we go. 
head off to the side from right there and you can consider yourself winner winner chicken dinner i wonder if there's other little jump areas i've missed like that solely because of the fact that i didn't realize i could dash like that to reach like further gaps There's one of our targets right there. Wait, right here it looks like he's facing. Well, he is facing us. What the? F I thought he was facing the other way. That was like breaking my mind. Wait, so that guy? I go right there. Come on. Oh. Nobody, nobody detection for you, boy. Ooh. Ooh, there is a guy up there. Is that one of those fireball boys? Going no enough. You gonna turn around for us as well? Nice guy. What a kind fellow. Can I reach that, please? Oh. Bro, I literally teleported past this guy's face. Holy. That was kind of cracked, you can't lie. And you guys also agree with me that that was kind of cracked. Because I'm feeling that way right now. We are hot. We are hot on it starting off today so far. We are just ripping so far, baby. Um, so I'm concerned slightly because there is a man next to us. That is not the primary reason I am concerned, but... Bam! Ah, wait, so is this the edge over here then? What the f... Looks like there's definitely no hardcore parkour to be had that way. That, that's looking a little bit too far. Looking a little bit too far for my blood to be able to reach. At least with my current set of skills in the game. Was this whole area off limits over here then? Gee willikers. Okay. Maybe this area is not as big as I was expecting. That is a tiny box. We can take advantage of that. Get over here, buddy old pal. I mean, we could also use that grass. That would probably be a much more secure option. As this guy could literally see me sticking out. But he's like, oh, that's probably just a broom over there. A broom that's going to kill you, boy. Bam. Take him down to the paradise. Ripped. Wait, what the f... Okay, this is a really weird, like, cutoff section. We haven't had a level like this yet where the cutoff is so abrupt. Like there's usually some pretty distinct uh, differentiation of where like uh, separate level locations would be. And this one's just kind of like, yo, you see that stuff right next to you? Sorry about that, bud. You can't go there. So basically for this guy, we're just gonna... Oh, he turns around. All right, well. Work work smarter, not harder, kids. Rick. Well, I guess it looked cooler. Technically, that's probably worth it, right? That's what all the kids are into nowadays, right? Just looking cool. I am eating up my stamina with these rolls right now. Mirror boy. Is he gonna stop right there? He's gonna. I could go for a roll behind. Let's try it. Oh shit. Okay, we're good. I, I should know these guys have terrible peripherals. Uh, we've already established that many a times in the past. What am I thinking? Of course I was gonna be 100% safe doing that super risky maneuver right there because it wasn't risky at all. It was actually just 100% calculated. 
Uh, so what do we got? We got a boy down there. We got a boy right here. So this is the area I was concerned about because since we took that cool Chad route, uh, to start things off, we did go away from a couple of dudes that were like basically right where we started. But here they are. And here they will no longer be once I get a hold of them. Yeah! I not I'm not sure if that counted as a detection or not. That was a close one. I probably will count as a detection, but who cares? We we got the sleigh and we're pretty clean. Honestly, like I'm I'm satisfied in missions where I don't take damage. If I manage to not take damage, whether I do get into like head to head combat or just completely sneaky boy my way through everything. Um, it's pretty satisfying when you have like a, a, a no damage run per se. Who is noticing me? Mirror, buddy old pal. Even though that guy's walking back towards us, he's pretty far away, and these guys suck, so not even worried about him. I wish um it would be cool if there was like a cover to cover, like if I could uh, focus target that and like shadow dash right into the cover that'd be sick kind of like um i guess how you can target lock to uh, shadow leap if you could target lock shadow uh, cover movement that'd be dope i'm just gonna move this guy's body I kind of don't like how it's hold to drop and just tap y to throw maybe i guess throwing it just kind of you can get rid of it on a quick instant and get it out of your way if you absolutely need to, but I feel like I would kind of prefer if it was the other way around. Maybe it was this guy that spotted us or like was kind of starting to detect us the first time because he moves around and he probably moved to a different position where he was blatantly seeing us. Once again, I'm starting to get overwhelmed with the amount of guys everywhere. But let's make that one less, baby. Bam. I'm pretty sure this is also the edge of the area right here. Like this big wall kind of defines where we can and can't go. All right, so these guys are interesting here. And that made them not so interesting. I like how he just like straight smooth criminals over to us real quick. He's like, yeah, I got you. Don't, don't worry, bro. I'm a little bit out of your assassination range. Let me just hook you up with this nice moonwalk I've been practicing here. There's no chance he noticed me. <laughs> oh shit, no way. No way, we're still hidden. Okay, we're not hidden. We're not hidden. Oh! I like how that counted as an elimination while hiding in tall grass. That was pretty sick. I'm low on stamina. Oh, you're gonna run, bitch? You scared, boy? Uh-oh, uh-oh, uh-oh. Mistakes were made. Oh. Hey, dude. What's going on? Come on down to... Oh, oh, oh. Why? The fuck, bro? I just got bullied into a freaking alleyway and my ass eaten. Well, that just turned south real quick, bro. Fuck. It's like, dude, if you panic in this game, you're instantly screwed. You like run yourself out of stamina 
and everything, you're just boned. Like literally I have full vitality potions and everything and I just scuffed that as hard as I possibly could. My God. And it's all because I was honestly sort of being toxic and really abusing the game's mechanics quite a lot more than I probably should have been. All right, find me a bitch. Just stay calm. Oh, oh, kill him. Oh my God. I like somehow missed tapping the button. And it scared me because I thought he, I thought I was going to miss my opportunity. Jeez. These guys don't play around in the combat, bro. Also, I do less damage considering, uh, you know, my stealth boost thing I added. Oof, if you actually get into head-to-head -head combat, that is painful. You can really start to feel it. Honestly, I'm going to blame this little nerd face for being the reason I got detected because he seems like a tryhard who has like his ear, his headset turned all the way up to where he's a uh, sound whoring. We have nobody to blame but this nerd. Yeah, see, look, he doesn't even... He's like, oh my god, a whisper, I'm so scared. Hey, come on, pussy boy. Yeah, just turn your ass around. What? What? He's gonna run? Is he gonna go tell on me for that? What the fuck was that? I wonder if I can't assassinate this dude. I wonder he ha he he literally has like spidey senses. They've just been revoked. Sit down, dude. I was sneaking. I was like literally crouch walking up behind him, and he didn't even bother to like be alerted. And look, he just like gallivanted away like a deer in a field. What the frick was that, dude? <laughs> kind of funny, to be honest, but kind of weird at the same time. Hey, dude. Now, these Sombrero Zoro men have no uh, no vision because their hats are too big. What was that? You thought you saw a putty tat? No, you're about to see a... Uh, you're about to see stars, bitch. Maybe not. Maybe so. Yeah. Try better next time with that tree block, devs. You can't stop me. Let's go. So we only have two targets, and I feel like I've slayed the entire compound at this point. What is going on? These missions are getting huge, bro. He's really going to be, like, right there. The frick. I thought he was gonna walk around down the stairs. I was like, no, 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 you don't want to do that. I was about to, uh, I was about to report that guy for cheating. Like, no, no, sir, there's nothing to see here. No, you do would not want to do that. You will regret it gratefully. I did not mean to do that. All right, we're good. I really want that uh, assassination vitality like booster thing. That's gonna be sick once we get it. Cause I'm I don't know why I'm being a penny pincher right now, but I really just don't want to use my vitality potions. I'll be like, yeah, I'll save them until I'm in combat because obviously I'm not gonna take damage if I'm stealthed. But it'll probably be at the point of no return when i try and use it and i just completely freaking screw myself so be prepared for that guys oh can i get him to come over here right through that little yeah 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 you know you want it boy you can't resist the whisper in his ear naughty boy this is cozy right here can i just can i just chill here it used to be a Dark Souls bonfire right there. That's how cozy that feels. So have I slayed through this whole portion? I have not Oh my goodness, bro. Is there a map? Is there a way to look at a map or something? I guess not. I'm getting overwhelmed with the size right now. Used to, used to small things, man. 
This is just huge. Gargantuan. What the fuck was that? Double jump? Hello? There we go. See, look, I'm not I'm not stupid guys. Like I knew what I was trying to do there. The game just didn't know. Holy shit. Remember when I was talking about those vitality potions? I think it's I think it's time. Oh, they, they literally fill you all the way up. Oh! Not like this. Oh! Oh! It was me or him at that point. All right, let's just uh, let's just be. I really don't want to reset this mission at this point. That would be such a freaking progress loss. I would lose my mind. Is that an alternate exit over there? The mission is literally so huge that it's like, yeah. Here's another exit over here. Like, that's what we're dealing with right now. Can you believe that? This is crazy, dude. I wonder how many missions are in this game in total. This game, uh, this game could end up being pretty gosh dang expansive. If every single mission is going to be like 20 to 30 minutes, bro. Gee willikers. What's up here? I'm feeling like we're in a collectible territory again, perhaps. Maybe not. Game's like, whoa, calm down there, bucko. You already got your one. You should not be asking for too much more than that. They're like, we will cancel that game pass you got right now. Send you back to the shadow realm of not being able to own and or play this game. Is he going to burn? Crash physics. Wait, did I? I think I spammed two vitality. Because I had five vitality potions. And now I only have two. I think I spammed two earlier when I thought they filled all the way up. Because when I used one there, it definitely didn't fill me up. Also, dude, we can literally only take like three hits and that's death. I don't think there's a way of improving that. Like, that's that's pretty tense, man. The game is tense. Also, considering that there's potentially only going to be more and more enemies to get more, uh, not toxic, but uh, challenging and difficult to fight as we go. That is slightly concerning. Dude, get in the grass. Holy shit. No, I wanted to whisper. Oh, I guess we're full health. Can we can we bring him around? Bring him on down, baby. Who's next? Someone fell to the ground. It's you, bitch. He's like, someone call an ambulance. And I guess for me? That's what just went through that guy's mind right there. And he didn't even realize it. That went through my mind for him. How insane that play was. All right, so it seems like that other guy was just like a little antsy scaredy boy because he was previously aware of us. Uh, having been a bad boy in the area. So that's interesting to take note of and know. All right, so we've come full circle. We're, we're back around to this part. We just need to figure out, I think we, we just didn't kill that guy all the way in that little corner all the way over there, right? There is a target and then there, he also had one little buddy boy with him. So let's head over there. And we'll wrap this one up. Don't be silly. Wrap your... Your... Blade. In a reinforced cloth. That prevents it from losing sharpness. That's obviously what I was going to say. 
Oh, there's a boy up there too still. Any sweet blueprints back here? Tips and tricks? With your boy fate? Doesn't look like it. I'm gonna say, it looks like I just need to hurry up and get my ass back to the shadows. Any day now. Doo -doo -doo. So we can kill this guy and then we can lure that guy out with our whisper. I can, I think I understand why they give you the whisper as your primary uh, ability because it's kind of like, I feel like it's almost necessary for like stealth purposes at certain points. You will get alerted by this, right? Oh, he doesn't budge. Shit. Very well. We're gonna make. Uh, I'm scared. I'm insane. Wasn't even scared. 100% knew that was gonna work in the entire time. Totally knew I wasn't gonna like hit some random invisible wall or ledge and fall to my demise. Completely calculated. Actually, I've played this game before, 100% of it, and I'm just on an alternate account playing it for the quote unquote first time right now. So uh, don't worry, guys. You guys are witnessing the plays of an absolute pro. If you were ever questioning me at any point, now is the time to just completely stop, rethink it, and realize that I am a master of the ninja art. Now, how do I get down here? You know, I just I just gotta play dumb a little bit, sort of quote unquote act like I don't know what I'm doing or where I'm going for a second, just to, just to make it more believable. This is the genuine let's play, not just me ripping foos left and right. All right, so we're gonna go this way. Can I can I wrap all the way around this corner? I cannot. That is not what I wanted to do. Let's do this though. I'm gonna test the whisper again on this guy. Maybe that last guy was just a fluke. Ah, oh, these guys, these guys just ain't no bitches. They're like, oh, gonna whisper me, please, bitch. I stand my ground. He goes down with his ship, aka where his feet are literally glued to the floor. So now we have two exit options. Can I get inside this building? I don't think I've gone inside from any angle yet. I think there's an entrance over yonder on this other side. Once again, just downplaying my knowledge of this map that I 100% know and completely uh, know like the back of my hand. Don't worry about it, guys. And there you go. It seems as if you cannot enter the building. Now you know. And now I know for the second time, because I already knew. Considering the interior's fleshed out, that's a... I can respect that from a design aspect, from a dev uh, from a dev side of things, because they very well could have just, like, completely sealed those windows off so you couldn't see anything in there and just been like, yeah, you know, it's, it's cool, there's a building here. But they flush that shit out, bro. Even if it's, like, literally the same interiors as a different building elsewhere, I ain't even mad. That's, uh, that's respect. <sighs> I am going to be livid if... Anybody is left alive. No chance. No chance. Oh, let's go. 35 hostiles in that one. I think the last one had 36, to be honest. But this, the layout of this mission was so much more like, uh, there was so much stuff everywhere in my face and in the way and everything. So it was just like trying to keep up with it was. <clears throat> Anywho, 25 minutes. Kind of long, like I said, but these missions are getting like that. You know, if you're trying to go for the full slayage, it's uh, it's gonna take you some time, especially if you're trying to like go never detected or stuff like that. Let's see, 175. We found 165 of the gold, and we got one collectible. That still just blows my mind that we only found one collectible. How did I not like go everywhere that I feel like I possibly could have? I just I don't know anymore, man. We did get a blueprint, however, the Kitsune attire. Very nice. Also, we have two upgrade points. Y'all know what that means. Hey, what's up, Katashi? 
Uh, let's let's talk to him since he's right here. Oh, shitty. Welcome, warrior. I have something for you. Call me then. Follow me. Cutscene? Whoa! Did we get a cutscene meeting here? I am I am praying for a cutscene here. It's been too long. We need a cutscene in our life. Also, <gasps> essence rune, a defense rune. Okay. Okay. I also forgot that we we really don't have like a, a full full steam ahead build yet. So we're only going to continue improving. Also, is this what I think it is? Is this a new building that just opened up in progress? Let's see what's going on here. Thanks for coming. The other villagers repaired this house. Indeed, that's so sick. I love this. It's our gift. He oh. Ah, we're no longer hobos. Let's go. I didn't even think about the fact that we're literally homeless. <laughs> you are part of the family now. You've earned it for the future. Check out the house and then come see me. I want to talk about something in private. <laughs> Katashi, please. Not in front of the others. Wait, what? <laughs> Hold on. I like I like they gave us a little like ninja exit. They're like, yeah, we'll probably use this window from time to time to just dip out that way, you know? If this upgrade sucks gonna be sad but i think it's gonna be pretty dope it will literally shroud us hide us from enemy sight and we can heal in it but we need the upgrade before we can get the heal it is not a dojo but it's not bad uh at least he's optimistic you know i'll, I'll give you all that he's a very optimistic glass half full type of guy also that's kind of sick down below it has like a it says only death will bring forth oblivion Interesting that that's just kind of chilling there. Uh, but let's get it. Ah, oh, the upgrades only cost one point as well. Love it, love it, love it. But we did unlock our next level. Oh boy. What is our next level of uh, abilities going to give us? So this is going to be a shadow power. When used on an unaware target, it blinds and deafens them for a while or until they receive damage. Mmm. -hmm. Mesmerize now affects other enemies near the main target. So you can like, okay, so you can straight up blind somebody to get past them either stealthily or like if there's a guy in an immovable position. Stay still for a short duration to gain a boost to your stealth. Use shadow vision and aim it towards an enemy to mark them temporarily. Shadow vision shows hidden items in the area. <gasps> Turn invisible for a short duration or until you attack or receive damage. While Wraith is active, you don't make any sound when moving. We are absolutely getting this next upgrade, and then I think we're going to go for... Mm, eh, I ain't no bitch. We don't need invisibility. Who knows? Maybe, maybe the missions will get to the point where it's like literally impossible without it, but I think we're going to go for the senses next because I would love me some collectibles. Also, maybe seeing blueprints would be omega dope. Speaking of blueprints, we only have 500 gold after that mission, so we're still a little bit away from, uh, from getting... Our sweet savior, the Orochi sword. Uh, so on our way up, let's stop by the Babe Sakura. Wow, this house is wonderful. Uh, so no new support items, but we did kind of spend a pretty penny on some vitality potions. And fuck that. I'm probably going to regret it, but... Hey, look at that. Another new piece of chest <laughs> what piece of chest chest piece 3500 i want it i want it in my life what is this the kitsune attire spiritual attire said to bypass the barriers between the material and spiritual world like it's pretty cool it definitely doesn't roll with the aesthetic i currently have maybe when we get the full set i'd be into it but right now not a huge fan like, I'm all about not not wearing full sets of gear when you can actually blend them well, but now's just not the right moment for that. How much does it, it takes 500 to craft this. Stamina regen, reduce armor. <gasps> oh my god. Wait, why is it a, a defense rune is going to reduce our armor? That's kind of weird. But, oh, stamina regen. I love it, I love it, I love it. Uh, we have to get it, guys. 
Now, what piece of armor would make the most sense to regen stamina? Let's see. Stamina is technically like cardio, and cardio ties to the lungs, which ties to breathing, which lungs are in your chest. Yeah, stamina regen would make sense to be in your lungs. Don't ask why I'm being such a nerd with where I specifically slot these. You can literally slot any of them anywhere you desire, but we're just being like that. I do think it's very interesting so far that there is 100% always trade-offs. Like, you get a benefit, but you're also getting a detriment at the same time. Interesting game concept slash design so far. It's kind of it's kind of a double-edged sword. Like this, we could be a glass cannon if we got rid of the stealth thing and then had stamina regen for our combat, because that would help a lot. Uh, you know, keeping ourselves not scuffed how we were last time. Running out of stamina is so scary in this combat because I feel like I'm just gonna get wailed on, especially considering how like much damage you take. Now I'm gonna take even more damage because my damage, stamina, damage. I'm gonna take more damage because my stamina is re or my armor is reduced. Like, ooh, we'll see how it goes. We'll see how it goes. Welcome, warrior. This conversation is confidential. There have long been rumors of our people being experimented on and tortured in a kachchi. We haven't been able to get any proof so far. But lately, we hear screams from High Castle chilling enough to petrify the dead. Why is this so eerie? Please go and see what is happening. Be discreet and very careful, warrior. This sounds like a big mission. Whales in the night. Yee! That's, dude, that just sent chills down my spine, man. We will do Whales in the Night in our next episode, ladies and gentlemen. This has somehow already been like 40 minutes of recording at least, just to do a single mission, check some runes, like look at the blacksmith, like bro, every single mission, like you have some new stuff to go check out. And since we unlocked a whole new tree of abilities, we were looking at all those. Maybe I'm just, maybe I'm just like the master of stalling and being an asshole, but you guys, you guys gotta let me know if you find yourself also, like, taking similar amounts of time to do things as it takes me in this game. Maybe I'm just a uh, Omega completionist running around wasting a bunch of time looking in every nook and cranny type of boy. But, don't hate me. Don't hate me, man. I'm sorry. I'm just a gamer who loves to do everything the games have to offer, okay? <sighs> Thanks for watching the video, guys. I appreciate it. If you guys enjoyed, be sure to leave a like and a comment down below of what you uh what you thought was interesting in this video and if you guys are enjoying the content as a whole on my channel be sure to subscribe it is absolutely free to you and turn on those notifications so you can receive live updates for brand new videos but that is all for now folks so have a wonderful rest of your day and or night and until we meet again stay gaming stay absolutely mad all of you lads and lasses and i will catch you guys in the next video